good morning or whatever time it is. I keep saying morning, but it doesn't have to be morning. So this is the video for your closing paragraph. This is the very end of it. Okay. So with your thesis statement, it is basically you can copy and paste it right from the beginning of the essay. It's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to just go like this, grab it, and then I'm going to chug it out. And I'm going to put it in the closing paragraph. Okay. So now it's this is the last part. This is the hardest part. So I'm going to skip this. I'm going to go down to the bottom. And I'm going to find a way to wrap this up. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to say to conclude or I'm going to say to sum up. No, I already did that. So I'm going to say to summarize. Okay, that's it. Uh, however, it needs to be like this. And then here's where you need to have three to five sentences that talks about all three of the reasons why you have picked it. So you picked your horror story, which you've been talking about this entire time. So Okay, so horror stories must have a good location. Blood takes place in a pet store. Having the setting in a pet store is unique, which makes the story more special than other horror stories. Secondly, horror stories must have good supernatural elements. Blood that heals is as supernatural as it gets because everybody has blood, but not everybody has blood that heals. Uh, finally, a good horror story must have a good theme. The lesson in blood is not to lie. That is a lesson that everybody can learn from. It is just a reminder about what you talked about it's a lot of writing in one chunk, but it's overall it's shorter than the entire rest of the essay. So that is basically how you do your concluding paragraph. It is the last part. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, make sure to contact me.